Hello, and welcome. I'm Zyner. As you can tell, we've got a lot of stuff set up here. Uh, may or may not actually create the thing from that one today. But uh, this is part, not all, but part of the long drawn out process that is making the entirety of the Gravisuite gear. So, first things first, we're going to need a piece of the each, each of the, uh, the nano set armors, except the helmet, due to the way it's handled in here. Ignore that. I'll get to that. Uh, basically, so, there's the boots. I forgot to actually go over the recipe, but it was up there. Easy enough to do. Uh, legs are just as easy, as you can see. And in here, as you guessed, I have the chest piece, which is just as simple. Now, as far as I know, the nano suit armor is pretty much the equivalent of iron, in terms of how it protects. But we need some rubber boots... Uh, two pairs of them. So, that's just six rubber and a piece of wool. And then, why particularly is that there? Don't worry about that, we'll get there. So, we also need to take these. And these will go here. I'm pretty sure these go here. And this one goes here. Now, there is, in here, some alloys. So, if I take these and go like that, that will make the iridium plate, which, as for the iridium, I'll get to that in a little bit. So, that is eight plates. Now, what we need to do is two in here. That makes the quantum suit boots. Those hold one million EU. In here, we need two plates. And that's the quantum suit leggings is 1 million EU. These will uh, use power to dampen fall damage. Uh, these will let you sprint turbo quick. It's supposed to use the boost key, but every time I've ever used them, it act never actually required them, which is really weird. And if we take four plates, put them in here, we get the quantum suit body armor. Uh, this, as it is, just protects from a gratuitous amount of damage. But, uh, Another thing we're going to need along the line of making the Gravisuite uh, chess piece is a backpack. And I forgot to point out what that takes, but... Eh. Now, if we take the backpack and put it in here with the advanced circuit and some lapis blocks, we get a lap pack. Uh, now, the thing in the last thing is basically kind of the pre-rec thing for the, uh, the ultimate lap pack, but... I have to make these, which means I have to make these, and because I need to make six of those to get to this point, I mean, I need, oh, quite a lot of those, actually, but uh, I'll just throw that in there at the moment, so, I don't have a whole lot of iron left, I've melted my copper supply quite readily, my tin is down really low. Uh, up there. I should do it. And, yeah, so... Things are not going well. Whoop. But, uh, I'm working on it. I need refined iron. I set up uh, the ability to craft these using minium stones. So, I mean, it's not really a huge deal. Put that back in there. And I've made some more high voltage solar panels, but I'll get to that. Uh, I put some minium stones in here, and it's just basically using coal, which I have too much of, and iron and making refined iron. I mean, it seems like the quickest way to handle it. It's a lot easier than just trying to process it. But, uh, I also need tin. Oh, I just railgunned. I suppose I could technically skip this part, because you've seen it before, and these are in the wrong spot, and that's beside the point. So, while I'm making these, I guess I should probably discuss something that you probably noticed by now. I started doing a let's play of another game. It's a horror game, although you wouldn't guess it from my reaction. 
when playing it, so... Did I just throw everything on the ground? Son of a bitch. But, uh, basically, I thought it seemed like it'd be really interesting to do, because it was so cheap. 90% off weekend deal. What am I doing here? And, yeah. Although, I must say, if you're looking for somebody that's actually going to be, like, terrified of the stuff that's going on, probably not the best person to watch for that. But, uh, still, if you're interested in the whoops storyline of it, which I am, that's going to take a long time, I, I, pr I play games for storyline, and it seems to have a slightly predictable, but also rather interesting storyline, I guess, is the only way I can put it. Uh, I'm going to put the quantum suit armor in here. Probably should have put it in there, but, uh, don't need you, 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 you. So, I guess what I'm going to do... I'm not sure how many crafts I'm going to need. But, uh, I've got some more solar panels. Started on the second row. This brings me up to nine. Uh, I'd have a lot more, but I was making iron. I'd made copper. Copper's pretty simple, too. I'll just pull out one of these and show you that one. Uh, copper is that, and it makes ten dust. Why it makes dust, I'm not entirely sure, but, uh, yeah. And I hooked up the, the the garbage system again because I wanted to do some more mining and all my shit was full. But, uh... Is it going up quite quick even when the scrap's not in there? So, I think if I leave this sit overnight again, uh, that'll build up quite quickly. Oh, and I forgot to show you Iridium. Which, unfortunately, I can't show you because the recipes are hidden by default from any eye. So I have to come here. Give me one. Here's the recipe for iridium. That simple. Which I'm probably going to need. Let's see. I need. Uh, I'm going to need at least four plates. Which means I need eight of it, at least. What am I doing? Let's just do it this way. So. That would be 56 there. I probably want to do it again. Alright, so if I can... That'll give me five plates? Uh, that sounds like a reasonable number, actually. So, let's take that. Suppose I can set this back up then, throw that in there. Diamonds! One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I've got a lot of diamonds. Way more than I need. And unfortunately, it won't let me down convert them for some reason. Which is quite annoying, I will say. Okay, two iridium plates. I uh, can't really do anything with them at the moment, per se. Uh, what was the rest of the schematics for the superconductor cover? Oh, more compressor work. What a pain in my ass. Hmm. What can I do to solve this dilemma? I don't have any... Arctic gates. I've used pretty much all of those. Could use the uh, hobbyist steam engine to pull stuff out. And it would run for a good long while on its own. Going to need a lever for that. Wooden pipe. Uh, let's grab... Ah, fuck it. Let's grab all the hoppers. I got one advanced alloy sitting there. Could make use of that. Basically, the point here is that I've got, you know, stuff, plenty of things to do, and I want to go do something else in the meantime. So, I figure the easiest thing to do 
And I should not accept that. Should just run, so that shouldn't be an issue. And uh, that's way more than I'm actually going to need. I only really need one. Screw it, let's put two. And we'll just throw the third one there. Clipping. So I'm going to need... It was three. I'm going to need to do that four times at least. So I'm going to need twelve. It was, what, sixteen? No, it's eight per thing. And I need twelve. So I guess twelve times eight. It's 92. 92? 96. 92. But I am apparently retarded. The answer to that question is yes. The answer to that question is also that, I believe. Not terribly interesting, I know. Although I'm actually running out of ideas on interesting things I could do. At least things that don't involve dicking around in machines all the time. Uh, that's a good question. What can I do? I kind of want to think of... See, I put all this floor down, but to be honest, it looks a bit hideous. I'm thinking about maybe putting some kind of design or something, but not thinking of anything offhand. Yes, get destroyed. And... Yeah, there's not a whole lot I can really do. I'm kind of reaching the edge of the machines. I haven't done Thomcraft, but unfortunately a lot of that is just tedious research. Which does get kind of annoying after a while. I mean, I could start work on setting up machines and stuff over in the, uh, the other place. Technically. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm doing. Another news. What? Injector bandwidth thoroughness. Eh. Hmm. I've been thinking about harvesting this iron and replacing the walls, but I'm not quite sure what I would replace it with. I could do it with aluminum. Uh, that is a pull me anything. It's not what I'm looking for. I need an ejector and a chest. Chest will go here. The ejector will go here. A te just technically an export bus, but ejector. That will go there. And. That set to full stacks, full stacks, export. Yes! It's actually going to feed it out here pretty quickly. I did the same exact thing with all my Zycorium to reduce the amount of stuff I had in here. And it works quite well, actually. And that is a lot of aluminum blocks already. Holy crap. Uh, I am curious, though. If I pull out two stacks of these... Let's just do the primary walkway here. Right? Uh, should I do into the machines? Most of them don't have anything under them. I've actually thought about putting in some, uh, like, lava or something under the floor for lighting, but lava is so overused and cliche. Uh, iron block, go there. I guess cliche is not really the word I'm looking for, but I do live in a mountain. It would be slightly justified. Yes, I'm going to place an iridium plate down here. That's going to work. Okay, so... If I take 
the aluminum. How does that look? Oh. Uh. Actually, so far, because it doesn't have... See, I like how the iron looks, and I like how the aluminum looks. And it also gives it a use, more or less. Uh... Whoops. I must say, I actually... Hmm. Hmm. See, next to the iron, it definitely looks out of place. Why is there a torch there, of all places? I I'm going to be honest, this is a combination of trying to get some iron and also trying to uh, make use of aluminum, because I've already kind of, yeah, done things. But, uh, let's see. I thought there was something else I was going to talk about. Hmm. Apparently not. Ooh. Actually, yes. Yes, I do rather like that. Ah! There's a hole down here. Hmm. Uh, so. There. We're in. Oh, Crap. And... Doo -doo. Good, good. You know, I should have seen that coming. And as for placing them underneath of here, is it necessary? No. Am I doing it for the sake of making sure that I do it? Just because of completionist's sake? Pretty much. Come on. It goes there. You know, I really should uh, remove these blocks and this, that, and whatnot, but uh, it's a lot of work. Okay, so. 44 aluminum blocks left. I should probably start under here, like so. Right? Well, if I missed a block under there, I don't know it. Okay, so. Oh, I missed an iron block right there, though. It'll be okay. I'll tend to that in a second. Whoop. Hmm. It actually feels lighter than the iron. Maybe I should. Maybe I should put some kind of... See, I kind of made a slight design, design decision that's terrible here, and that's the fact that this is an odd width, which means that nothing quite lines up, because these have even widths in between them. I could technically move them over one, and then... I don't know. I'm not even sure what I would put in between. Because the light Zycorium blocks aren't as light as you may expect. Block. Well, that didn't get me very far. Sapphire, ruby, green sapphire, or it used to be called emerald once upon a time. Or did stone? I don't have that because that's from Thomcraft. Block of concrete. Now that's interesting. Oh, no. Nope. Not gonna happen. Can't afford the iron. Iron tank wall. Hmm. See, I have no idea where those come from. Which seems very strange to me. Block of silver. Block of lead. Ooh, actually, that could be interesting. just so happens that I've got this cool little guy here. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, whoops. That kind of defeated that whole purpose. Oh, come on now. It's so very hard to actually move these things without actually accidentally destroying the whole floor. Well, that whole network of stuff is temporarily cut off. And now it's re-enabled. Aluminum lock. Okay, so what if... In between these lights... And here, just because... I were to take lead. Ooh! I actually really like the texture of the lead, the lead, the lead blocks. I mean, they are technically typed or spelled the same way, but it's no reason to say it wrong. What's wrong with you? So, gravity gun, handy. Uh, let's see. Can I? No. As usual, can't pick up the damn Zycorium based. The uh, Zycraft, as I should say, based blocks with the uh, anything. Go there. What? Oh, come on. Okay, so... Sorry, trying to think and decide whether or not I like how this looks. Hmm. Hmm. This is starting to become a problem. Okay. Just throw some light down here. Screw putting the blocks back in. For right here, of course. Those iron and aluminum blocks. Hard to tell apart. Hmm. Because you see, then I could put like a tank or something. Maybe. And that is all I've got left. Seven aluminum. Okay, so. Block of aluminum. Some aluminum. There's a lot of blocks of aluminum. You see how many was in there? Okay, now, so if I do this. I mean, I haven't even done the walls. Do I want to... You know what? Let's see what's going on over here. I'll tell you what's going on over here. I made a mistake. And that is why I am a bad person. One, two, three, four? Super... Cond you know, what am I doing? Let's just throw these in here. And that's what I have left. Super conductor cover that doesn't take it. Okay. How many? Four. Well, it's going to get me part of the way, I guess. I need six of these. Six of these? Twelve of these. Six of these. Nine of these. Fifteen. Twenty. Gazillion. What was I doing? I'm going to need four more panels, which means four times seven is twenty-eight. No. That's not right. Well, th that is right, but I need four plates, which means that I need 16 times 7, which is a number.
How does one come about such terrible math? Whatever I did, I need less than what's in there. 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I'll need it eventually, but I'm going to leave it there for now. Iridium. Let's get some diamonds. One, two, three, four. This is going to use up quite a bit of these advanced alloy plates. Yeah, because now I don't really have enough left. I'm terrible at this. Bad person. I put more stuff in here, didn't I? Um. Oh, come on now. I'm fighting with it and complaining to myself. Now, this should make forty. Two at the end of it, yeah. And tin, which I have a decent amount of now. Uh, that'll do. I guess the whole point of me setting this thing up was kind of uh, nullified. Okay, so. One, two, three, four. One, two. One, two, three. Uh, one of. No, I can't do anything with that yet. What do I need? What do I need? What do I need? I'm missing something. I'm missing gold! And doo 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 doo. So we're getting kind of close to where I wanted to stop. Although this is the last fiber plate. Hmm. Hmm. See, I'm also not sure about this hole thing. I kind of do want to put tanks down in here, though. The question is, what material would I use for the tanks? And they wouldn't need to be very big. Maybe I will use lava. Hmm. Who knows? Okay. I need two plates, and I really need to make thingies for that. I don't want to stop. Go away, dirt. Go away, sulfur, you. Until I've completed this now, since I've already started work on it. Uh, you're not overly necessary at this very second. While we wait, I guess we'll look at how much of a pain this is going to be. First of all, I need superconductor wire here. I need four of it. I need two for there. So I need... I'm actually going to need to craft superconductor wire again. This is why I needed the lap pack. That's a joke. I can make that. I actually have all the things set up to easily make that. Now, Tesla coils. Not a huge deal. I can make those pretty simply. I only need eight of them. These are going to be a fucking disaster. Because first of all, in order to do this, I need dense copper plate, dense copper plate, so there's copper. And then, I need advanced alloy and dense copper plate. And I need to do that twice. Then there's the heat exchangers, which I need eight glass fiber cable, dense copper plate, electronic circuits. Heat exchangers is a dense copper plate. And tin and electronics. What? And this is a dense copper plate. Right here. Copper, eight copper, and a compressor. But then, to make matters even worse, we need 60k coolant cells. And I have no idea 
How the fuck you get coolant? I'm assuming you would pull it out. But... Actually... What? That doesn't seem... Really? How would you... Go about such a process? And the thing is, if I click the coolant, I have no idea how you get it. But uh, if you were to try and make these normally, you need a dense copper plate, tin, 30k coolant cell, which is then these. And I need how many of those? So, 8 per gravitation engine. So I need 16 of those, and oh, it's just disastrous. So hard to work with. Might as well do two of them since I have the materials on me for two. So, you may not know it, but uh, I'm actually an anime person. But uh, unfortunately, I am terrible and can't actively... Like, I have a anime I've just started watching, but it's, eh, it's a bit meh. Oh god, I thought they gave me six. It gives me three. That's even worse. We can finish this damn thing. Yes. Now, ideally I'm actually going to want to go charge all of these. Which is going to be a bit of a predicament. Where did I... Oh yeah, I put them in here. The thing is, is if I take all of these, temporarily limit my power generation over here, put one there, one there, one there, and one there. I mean, they're going to get filled fairly quick, except for this one, which is going to take a little while. So, that'll get done. Uh, the reason why I'm charging these is because whenever I make the Gravis Suite chest plate, uh, if the things are filled, it'll, well... You know, I only need the chest piece for this. If the chest piece is filled and the lap pack is filled, this thing will start fully charged. So, that's why you see this. Why this is... I guess... What? I'm... I don't know. But these gravitation engines are going to be a nightmare. Because I need... The biggest issue comes from those things. But, I'll get there. Eventually. So, I guess, call this good for now, we got those, but I'm not going to be wearing that armor just yet. Uh, as for this, this, this. Ooh, how am I doing on iron now? A little bit. As for this building, I actually kind of like how the aluminum looks, but I feel like it could use something else. So, once again, I'm just going to bring up the block thing. and These are things with block in the name. And I mean, feel free to suggest whatever. I mean, tin blocks would be a bit of a pain in the ass. Um, I could technically use machine blocks, but the whole point was to try and use less iron. And honestly, I could probably use some diamond blocks right now at this point. I don't really particularly care. What are those? What all can I even use that in? Surprisingly, not a whole hell of a lot. Diamond blocks themselves... Hmm. Interesting. This doesn't work. I don't know why, but this doesn't work. Most of these recipes... Ooh. Blank, maze, or map. But, uh, most of these recipes don't work. I don't know why. For some odd reason, if I take... Aminium stone. Right? And if I were to try and combine it with the gold, it doesn't do anything. Despite the fact that it specifically says that if I click U on here, show uses, when I go back through, it'll show me the minium stone recipes eventually, damn it. Although. 
Shapeless crafting, okay. As you can see, it says iron, medium stone. Well, gold, medium stone, you get iron. And it works just fine. Well, it doesn't work just fine. If I put these in here, nothing. Nothing at all. It doesn't matter how they're positioned. Just nothing. But it's really weird, because if I were to do this, for example, throw that in there, one, two, three, four, I can easily make a diamond. But I don't need diamonds. I have diamonds. So, I don't know. And my inventory became a bit clogged. Hmm. That's a bit of a nuisance. Actually, that's quite a lot of a nuisance. Let's see, I should have... I have two. And I'll have five. Once I'm all done, that'll be enough for the gravitation engines. Yeah, those take four, but then I have to go through all this crap. This is going to be a long, drawn-out process here. Something that I'm not entirely sure... You know... I want to test something. Before we stop, I must know. If I go one, two, three, four. If I go over here, grab an empty cell, like so. Now, if I take this empty cell and go get some water, and then convert it into a coolant cell, can I just simply? Go into the liquid transposer and pull the coolant out. No. Show me. Show me the recipes. Ooh, liquid nitrogen. Crushed ice. Ice capsule. Interesting. Well, in fuel, I understand. Acid. Not sure. Seed oil, apple juice, honey, water, crushed ice again. Let's just go through till we find coolant. It's got a unique blue to it. Oh, that's crushed ice again. I guess it's not that unique. You no, know, it'd be probably be easier if I was just looking for the icon. I know that's how you make water, damn you. What is this crap? What is this crap? Molten cyan dye. What? Why does it not show colors? Better yet, why can't I find the coolant cell? Did I flick over it at some point? See, it says coolant. How do I get the coolant? That is the great question. I'm so confused. Coolant cell. Uses. Shapeless crafting. What? That doesn't make sense. How does that make any sense? Interesting. Liquid registry. Do I just require... Well, you can't stack them, so I couldn't... I don't understand. I really, really don't understand. Well then... Whatever. I'm going to call this good for now, so uh, I suppose I'll work on some things, and then I will uh, see you guys later. Have a good day.